Hello, hello guys and welcome back to Pukakuya. So, I thought I would have unlocked the assassin by now or whatever his name was. Well, the thing is, a couple of things happened in real, like they always do, and now I have run out of content, so... <laughs> well, at least we have a lot of characters to play with and we will figure out which one we're gonna play with when we make a new run here. Let's, let's see. We're definitely gonna go for an upgrade run. Um, I think I played like I played the Toad, which I, I don't know. I can't I can't make the Toad working, but I had actually had a, a classic run with him because I just looked through uh, what kind of modifiers there was in here. And there was a modifier that I haven't I, that I hadn't tried before, so I tried that, and uh, that went horrible. And I also had a run with the Red Sorceress where I probably went to World Two. Or something like that again not the best run in the world and that was an upgrade run so i want to play one uh, some other character you know what the oh, i don't know about the queen i don't really like the queen oh wait hold on what about the bard here we only got one star on the bard uh magic loot yeah uh so we could get food on perfect kills up to two cards that cost food to do the poison it's a it's a very strange character very strange to, to do any damage basically you have to use some food Okay, let's do an upgrade mode. Let's do an upgrade mode. And this is probably what I had with... Um, this might actually be fine. This might actually be totally fine. It's basically... Do I want to... Nah, I don't want to reveal more. The, these first four up here, first level fours here, are free. Free for cost. Yeah, there we go. Free. Um, I think we are going to go for... I mean, I don't have any gems on her. Hmm... Plus one more item on the shops. Seems like... I mean, I probably should have that in by standard now. Because it is nice having more options. Getting more options in the shops usually tend to be a good thing, I feel. Um, but yeah, let's take one max and one more starting. And that's about it. Let's get into it. Come on. Come on, the bard. Uh, so uh, what, what would be a successful run here? Well, basically anything that is more than the star that we already have. So if we can get past World 2... Then I will call it a successful run. <laughs> wow, that's some terrible options here. That's... What the hell? Like, I'm starting with only two two roads, and both of them have two animals on both of the roads. I'm probably gonna go down in this... Um, see, someone noticed. Um, okay, so here's the thing. There are... Um, someone commented on a couple of episodes ago that, um, that I spent all my gems in one of my fights. That, that is correct, that is correct, but here's the thing. There are some of these creatures that will directly steal everything you have, and you won't get it back if you win that fight. This guy, the gremlin, is not like that, and I'm actually unsure if that guy that I was fighting against in that episode a couple of episodes ago actually keeps the gems, or I will get them back. I am actually unsure about that, but I, I'll... I'll um, I'll, I'll I'll try and find out next time I'm up against that uh, that creature. But there are some like the uh, what is he called Glottonmore. He steals your food and you won't get it back. This guy also steals food, but food. But this guy will give it back to you if you kill him. So I am a little bit unsure about that mechanic, at least against some of the opponents, because not all of them is going to give you the stuff back if you kill them. So uh, yeah, but I, I I did see that comment and um, yeah, I, I understand that that it, it, it is probably likely that uh, that guy with the gems is giving me back stuff. Just, uh, yeah, you know what, I'm going over rail, I'm going way off the rails here. But yeah, we're, we're probably going to go down here. Oh, that guy, the green blob here is poison seven. God. I mean, what can we, uh, what is our energy doing? Uh, draw a card of your choice, right? And uh, that's not going to help me much. Uh, discard one target enemy card. But there are some good rewards down here. I can definitely spend some gems without much of a worry. And it also unlocks getting options where up here we will just have three more runs uh, without having any options at all. Yeah, I feel like the um, it, it's not a good start, but you know what? The gremlin is not too bad. We will more than likely kill him. And hmm, yeah, I'm worried about that green blob. But that's, uh, let's do we, do we want to get more cards drawn here? Do I really need that? One card here, up to two cards. I don't, I don't know. See, the pet snake is just not really a good card. It's it's fine. You can do the poison, but the poison is going to go down and we need to do quite a lot of damage. This is really a bad start. We If we if, if I could have gotten a shop to begin with, with 30 chips, that would be perfect. This here, 
we are going to lose some health and we are going to lose some food that we didn't really have to if there was a shop maybe where we could get some more damage from an item or something like that. But uh, we don't really have the choice here. Uh, 3 a that's terrible. And he starts with, actually, yeah, that's that's also terrible. I, I have a feeling we might not, um, we might lose 10 food here and yeah, we could end up completely getting dry on food. That's terrible. Um, attack. See, that's that's only eleven poison. It's 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 just. It's, I mean, <laughs> spending food to maybe try and get it back later on. I don't. I don't know. You know what? Let's go for a gem draw here and and see if we can find some better cards to use for this pet snake. No, not even. That's a uh, that's a really really bad start for us. I'm gonna take the poison. I mean, I I need to find a lot of damage if I just need to get some of my food back. So I guess I'm spending food to gain food again, hopefully, later on. Um, oh yeah, I should probably have used energy there. I'm probably going to spend energy here to get an ace, right? Because I need that I need that poison up and running, don't I? Oh yeah, 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 definitely, because it also gains anemic. So it's definitely worth using this food to make sure that I kill him. So I'm spending two food to make sure that I'm not losing like six or seven food, basically. And also a bit of energy here. I'll take the ace wait yeah i'll take the ace i could also take his king but does it matter no no it doesn't matter he's not doing anything with it anyway uh yeah do 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 yeah that's that's making sure now we actually don't need to do anything else because we got anemic on him so it will even go up next turn 51 yeah he's he's done for he's done for um so yeah it, it cost me two food to not lose any food i mean and we get two food back eh, it's not a bad deal it's not a bad deal Green Blob, now that on the other hand, is having me worried quite a lot more. But maybe we can kill him quite easily again if we do use the food. Yeah, I'll probably use food here as well. Because he could he could do a lot of damage to us. So I think I think using um he even got two cards that he can use here for so that's gonna be poison 14. Yeah, um I'm gonna go out and find actually I'm gonna take his ace. <laughs> oh I can because I can see it, so I can't take it. That's a shame. But it was if it was hidden, I could try and you know get it but then i wouldn't know if he had it or not so let's just take another race 19 plus anemic yeah it's it's fine and we can probably kill him with the loot z is 25 we do take the damage i can't really avoid it and another poison here and I, we, we take quite a lot of damage here but yeah it is what it is do the loot and then next time we can probably kill him yeah six left can't get a perfect kill unless i'm gonna is it worth using two energy to get a perfect kill or should i just let the actually I, I'll rather use the energy because otherwise I'm going to take another poison 11 hit. I mean, no, I can just kill him directly here. The question is, is it worth going out? Yeah, it is. It is worth going out, finding this 6 to kill him with a 6. So I get perfect and I get one food. Yeah, sure. That's worth it. Definitely worth it for uh, for that. I need to remember to do that more often, actually. Um, hmm, Yeah, I'll probably take one chip over this angry stallion. I don't know. 40, pretty easy to get to 40 when you got five cards. Attack 31, can defend again. I mean, yeah, I don't, yeah, how much health? 59, you know what? 59 health is not, not that bad. But then we do have to take this fight over the goat, which we do need to consider. Do need to consider that because, yeah, see, so here's the thing. This goat is going to open up for more possibilities up here, where the dragon whelp is quite a hard battle. Not a lot of health, but... I feel like I can take out this goat quite easily. It also gives me four chips versus four chips. Okay, so I'm basically, yeah, because here I would definitely use some of my food to kill this guy. Here I'll just take one chip and well, lose one food anyway. But okay, there was a blacksmith down there. That's annoying, but I, I would have liked that blacksmith maybe with 43 chips. I'm pretty sure this one upgrade is not that bad. Up to two cards. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Hmm. Well. We could still go down there. I mean, the dragon whelp is not that bad. It's annoying, but I don't know. If we if we use the food, I think we can kill him in three turns. I think it's worth doing it just because of the blacksmith with quality three chips. We could up, we could upgrade twice, couldn't we? We could upgrade this twice. Now probably only once, um, because that actually. We I I think I think we need to upgrade this as well, but it might be too early to do it. It might be too early. And then again, I do have one open slot. So that me, uh, I mean, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to upgrade now because I feel like I've 
need some bigger cards without using i do have a lot of gems actually you know what i'm gonna take a chance and not upgrade my uh i might upgrade it just over here but i don't really want to upgrade it i'll do it anyway just upgrade 27 that's still a lot i could upgrade it again but i don't need to i don't feel like i need to Ooh, we have a hard fight over there okay so he's gonna inhale and we do not get any good cards i'm gonna use some gems i think could also use the energy but I think we're going to use the gems here to see. Okay, that's decent. Decent. I'm also going to use the energy just to get that pet snake really uh, going good. Because I do have 26, so I can, can do it. So that's that's going to be 21 plus the anemic. So we, I think we're already good. We just need to do the magic flutes and... Oh, no! Can we kill... Yeah, we can probably kill him, actually. Uh, let, hold on, hold on. 28. So we are... If we got a 6, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, Wait, is this activated if my poison is killing him? I I, I don't think it is, but I, I'm, I'm fine with just getting away with it here. So just do that and that's 28 and he's going to be dead. But I don't know if I actually get... I think it's only when I kill him with the magic flu, but let's find out actually. I'm not sure about that. Let's see. Okay, it is. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But still, that was, that was decent. That was decent. Worth the one food for sure. And also the uh, energy. Traveling healer. Hmm... Pay one to get 21 hand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Go for it. Go for it. I might I might need that health. Um, maybe in the dungeon as well. So here we go. Um definitely upgrade the flute. I think I think it's a pretty good upgrade. For 10, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it also gives me all more options getting more food. So yeah, sure. Upgrade again. Nah. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't I don't I don't know. We do have it's not a it's not a bad upgrade because it's just up to three then and we just do more damage I guess, but it do cost twelve. 20. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm um, I'm gonna go for it. I feel like it's actually worth it. I won't have a lot when we get to the castle, but we then have a really good attack card. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. I'm not sure if this is a mistake or not, but I'm gonna go for it. It at least it's also gonna help us in the next fight here. So one-eyed giant, that's gonna be tough. That is gonna be tough. Um, yeah, this is going to be very RNG based. I mean, the poison is not going to be the poison is going to be important because you got 84 health. But yeah, we are probably going to use a couple of gems, some energy to get the poison up and running, and hope for the best you won't get the hope for the best you won't get um, between 10 and 15 too often, because uh, that way we are going to lose a lot of health because it's got, it, it, it at least going to take four turns to kill him. I think maybe three turns. Let's find out. Seven, that's good. We got double queens, which I think I'll just... You know what? Maybe I shouldn't go for the poisoning. Maybe I should just go for magic loot. I, I mean, if I get these cut 26, I can kill him in three turns by the, by doing that instead of using the pet snag and using my food. And if I do find myself without any good cards for the loot, I can go for gems, maybe even energy. I could even go for energy here to get a bit more. No, I'm, I'm, I think I'm good with these three. You know what? No, I don't want to use my... I don't... I'm, I'm so... I'm so... Because I don't think it's matter if I do pet snake here. I think my magic glue can do just as much damage if I'm just using that. And if I don't find some really good cards when drawing, I can just go for gems or one energy or two energy and then get one extra good card that's going to help me in the magic loot. So I, I, I'm i kind of working around not using my food here. So I can use my food on something else, you know, walking or healing, whatever. So if I can avoid using... Okay, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He got over 16. I was just worried for a second because I saw it blink over here. But no, he got 16. So that's fine. Uh, again, uh, I'm okay with that. 22. It's not bad. He's uh, he's getting down there. He's getting down there. I'm, I'm pretty... What is Shockstone? I don't remember that. Discard one target enemy card. Oh, that might be helpful here, actually. I might use that. Uh, Magic Loop 36. So probably four turns. Oh, Okay, so I think I'm going to use the Shockstone here. I'd rather that than taking 20 damage, right? That's probably worth it. Yeah, get rid of that king. Goodbye. And 8-8, eight, eight, that's, pr that's pretty good. 25 damage, I'll take that because we can kill him next turn. More than likely. Yeah, there we go, he's dead. Goodbye. What? No, why did I do that? I'm a bloody fool again. I could maybe have done a perfect hit. I'm not sure. I didn't see how much health he actually had. How much did he have? I didn't see. Did he have like 8? 9? I think I had an 8 or 9. I don't, I'm not sure. You have to scroll... I don't know. Maybe you saw it. I, I didn't. I'll see it when I read it. <laughs> when I edit... Read it? When I edit my uh, content here, I will know if I made a big mistake. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Need to remember that. Hmm. 
Mechanoid. Do I want a gem or do I want a pile of food? Well, I'll take the food. I'll definitely take the food. Blacksmith. Yeah, nope. No, thank you. Uh, pile of food. That's fine. Don't really want to heal on 96. So we got two fights left before we get to the castle. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be hard or not. I mean, he's probably going to hit us a couple of times. Pretty bad reward as well. That's a bit annoying, but... Seven. At least that's good. He won't have the pointy tool directly. That's at least something. But yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do 20, 30 damage to us, I think. He also got 91 health, so it's gonna take a couple of turns. The question is, do I want to use the pet snake here? If that's the case, I'm gonna go out and actually find more cards. Yeah, I think I think it's worth doing the pet snake here because yeah, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll do that. I'll do that. Queen 10. Good enough for me. Um the rest into the magic loot, I think. 14 hits, sure. Take it. End turn. So it's 27 now. We can kill him probably next turn. That is 23. I am perfectly happy. Eight. That's really, that's really lucky because I think we can kill him next turn. Yeah, we kill him next turn. Maybe we can even do a perfect eight. Not entirely. Well, it's definitely worth getting that seven to kill him directly here with the energy. Dang, that's nice. That was, that was really good. That was really good. Okay, the cockatrice or an errant ghost. Four black cards, curses to two. Okay, five black cards. It's like 23. Mm, I mean, the curses are not that bad. Oh, wait, we don't have a lot of items, so he could actually... There's a 50% chance that he's going to put it on the same one. That's a bit annoying. He got seven cards. What about the cockatrice? Oh, four cards, rank six, a lower stun. Three card flush, it's like 19. 91 health, 94 health. Four chips, three chips, one gem. Um, oh, that's a tough choice, actually. That's a pretty tough choice. Could I please go to the castle directly here? I think I'm going to go for the cockatrice. It might be attack 19. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for the cockatrice. I feel like it's maybe a little bit easier, but I'm not sure. Okay, nothing there. So that's fine. That's some really poor, some pretty poor uh, cards here. But I think I'm just going to use some energy to find maybe an ace. Do the pet snake, I think. Yeah, let's just do one pet snake. Hopefully we can find a perfect kill so we can get that food back again later on. But yeah, that's fine. Do the eight attack. Two, five. He got... Oof, shit. Wait, hold on. Oh, he's going to go the... He's Well, four cards, rank six or lower. Yeah, he's going to use all those. Then he won't have the claw. So I, I guess I'm okay with that because we do have the poison. We might even poison him again then. Yeah, it might be a really good idea actually using that one extra food here because we're getting stunned next turn. That way we are doing a lot of damage in the next couple of turns. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Do the extra five and he is uh, he's going to be dead uh, in the next turn actually. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, we, we won't find, we won't, actually 14, no, I can't do it. Well, I could if I'm really lucky. See, here's the thing, do I, no, I don't want to spend both gems and energy to get one food. Nah, I, I'm happy with him just dying here. I'm okay with that. So we spent two food here, but whatever. Um, yeah, it, it, not, not the perfect uh, scenario, but I, I'm okay with it. We got a shop, we got dungeon, farm, temple, and tavern. I want the temple. I don't care what it is. Enhance seven plus six. So that's going to be, uh, what is that? 13? Yeah, that's the 13 then. That's pretty good. Can we even use that? Sure, sure we can. In both of them. It's going to be really good in both of them and it's just extra damage for five and like i always say these pay five can turn into five new coins for us if we're going to get rid of it and get a new buff later on or we want to enhance it even further then we can take a fight if we want to do that it's a win-win it's absolutely win-win to take this uh, but i will check the shop out first but i mean those five chips i want to spend them in there also before we're going into the dungeon i just want to check out the shop first Soul Seeker, no thank you. Deluxe uh, Eternal Sword, two card. I do like this card, but it's pretty hard to get it to work if we don't have a lot of draw uh, draws. Uh, Patrick of Holding, no thank you. Uniform Axe, Poison, three cards. So we already, we're probably more so looking for something where we can draw more cards. Any cards unlock 35, any cards adding to at least seven, that one. That one seems good to me because I can get more draws, get more chance of getting good cards for the pet snake or the or the um the magic loot, and it's costing me only a seven or two small cards to to get a chance of getting something better. That is probably worth the eight. That is more than likely worth the eight. Any cards on like 35? Nah, because we're using most cards right now. 
So that's not... I'm, I'm looking for things that's gonna help me right now. Also, how are we gonna kill the Surgeon Toe right now? Probably with the Pet Snake. And also the Magical Loot is actually not that bad. It, it will do a decent amount of damage, but we can... Mm, yeah. The Uniform Axe is good because it will help us keep up the poisons. And with the Pet Snake... We will have the anemic, so that would be good. But I don't think I'm going to go down that route because I would need to spend food every single battle to keep that synergizing work. Um, so I, I feel like we need to find another kind of, I don't know, workaround to do more damage. And what about this block here? No card cost, unlock 45. I mean, unlock 45, that's a lot of cards. Block 35, lock 45, four users per combat, no thing. Uh, let's check out in here. We got a bait. We got a bottle shop. Hmm. That's interesting. For only four, that's not too bad. Potion of weakness. Okay. Okay. We might consider. Uh, we. I will. I will definitely probably take. Uh, I'll take the food for sure. The temple tavern. Maybe when we get back from the dungeon. So what is in the dungeon? Only one food, but I'll, I'll still take it just to get the chips. To be honest. So, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take the temple. Sure. We're gonna go for the shop again, and I will take this right away. I don't see why I wouldn't do that. I got a spot for it anyway, so uh, and it will help me out in the dungeon to get the, the coins more easily. So yeah, that's uh, I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that, actually. I'm very okay with that. That was exactly what I was looking for, something utilitarian, because we already have a good amount of damage on the magic loot and the pet snake together. Now we're just getting, getting a better chance of actually getting more out of these two cards. Uh, but after this, we do need to find... I would like curses, maybe. Curses would be a pretty good deal. One big curse card, I would take that. Um, or maybe in flames. One of the two, I would say. Uh, I didn't see it in here, to be honest. I didn't see... I mean, this one, but it's two cards straight flush. You need... I, I, could, I could... I mean, it costs 25, so we won't get it. But we're probably looking for other curses or... I mean, energy could also... It, uh, not energy, but uh, what's called lightning. Could work. But I'd rather get Curses. Curses is probably the best situation right now to get for most battles and uh, with the current setup we have. Right. Let's get into the dungeon. Let's get into the dungeon. Are there anything else we want to do? Not really. Well, we are on maximum energy pretty much all the time. I should probably spend more in uh, spend more energy, yeah. And uh, we're probably gonna do it here. Okay, he got the shield. And he got a four red cat. Okay, that's that's dangerous. Attack 15 and flames four random hero. Eh? Okay. I mean, he's going to block quite a lot, so... Ah, ooh, we got to See, that 7 is a 13. So this alone is 29. I mean, that's that's pretty decent. <laughs> At least 7. My 7s are in hand now, so it's like... <laughs> I'd rather spend my jack here. Uh, the question is, uh, am I going to do that? Am I going to split this up and get maybe something better than the 6? And I also at least need another picture card. Sure. Eh, got the same. I mean, it's the same. But still, it was worth it. I mean, it's worth having it just to have the chance of getting something better so we can do more damage. Um, I could also spend the energy to... You know what? It's probably worth actually doing uh, the pet snack here with an 8. Actually, another 7. If I find another 7 here, that's going to be quite a lot of damage from the pet snack. And then the king 6-3 for another 19 damage. You know what? That's pretty decent. Uh, but I need to be aware that I can I cannot use too much of my food on that pet snake. Uh, but uh, I mean that that is, it's it's nice. It's doing a lot of damage. Um, it's doing a lot of damage. So he have block, but our poison will do some damage. Three, four, eight. Oh, that's terrible. Let's make sure we get another two cards here. Eight, six, four. That's way better. But it's still not going to be enough to go through the block. But now my poison is just going to do a whole lot more damage to him. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's go with that. And uh, hopefully we can... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's 29. That is definitely worth it. Do he have four red cards? Mm, probably not. Will he have three cards ranked nine or higher? More than likely. Uh, but yeah, let's just go for the damage here and see what he got. Ah, oh, shit. Well, we are inflamed. I'll probably take that in flame. Ooh. Ah, so... Hmm. Right, how much is that in total? That is 31. Are we going to kill him then? Yes, we are. I'm going to take the inflame damage and kill him directly with our poison. Wait, 31. That is... No, that's only 46. Huh. Huh. What about that? That's 26 plus 15. And then I can... I don't know. If I... You know what? If I uh, if I go for some gems here, I might be able to... 
See, that is 26 and then the rest there. So I think I'm going to... Do I really want to do... I actually spent the 8 right here. King 2. That's not really better, but whatever. I mean, it is a little bit better, but yeah. Uh, I would also... Is he going to... I mean, he could he could do the sword again. No, he can't. Because he's definitely going to do the shield. You know what? In that case, I, I'm good with just going for the magic loot. I, I don't know. Because it's inflamed. Is it better to spend one food, which is 10 health effectively, or taking 4 damage and kill him next turn? I think it's better just to do the 4 damage and kill him next turn then. Oh, wait. I can... What? Oh, yeah. Three cards. Three cards. I only counted before with two cards, the two sevens. So, yeah, it, it, that was definitely worth it now because the poison is going to kill him. It's... it's Yeah, sure, sure. Um, But I, I, I forgot I could put three cards into it for some reason. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Doom Snake. Three cards straight, okay. Any cards adding to at least 36. Is draw one when hit. Ooh. Only big hits. Only big hits, boys. 29, that's a big hit. I'll take that. I don't even need to do anything else here. I feel like that's, that's good enough for me. That is good enough for me. The thing is, I could give him that straight right here. A 9 or a 6. Good. I'll take that. 2, 3, four. Okay. Well, what is the Shockstone again? Discard. Yeah, I, I, I'll take that discard because that's the 31 hit. Take the discard on the 3. Yeah. Get rid of that. And we actually got a pretty decent hit here for 30. And he can't get anything that... I mean, any cards adding to at least 36. No, we took away that chance. So that's fine. 4, 7, 9, 10... We, we, yeah, that's an open, uh, open card straight. So he could have a jack or an eight when we hit him to get it. 19, that's not exactly what I want, is it? I think I'll use the six two to find two new cards that could be worse, but more likely is better. Yeah, I'll take that. That's 29 instead. Please don't give it to him. That's fine. End turn. 37. Well, 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 well. So he's going to do the curses to three distinct. So distinct means three different. So that's kind of fine because i can probably get rid of them yeah, i mean i'm gonna use food to get rid of it but uh really bad options for us we might not even be able to kill him next turn you know what let's uh three, let's see if we can find some better cards here that's a lot better 26 we can probably kill him next turn then uh yeah that should be fine 41 uh, nah we can't nah we can't actually kill him but if we can just get rid of these curses oh it's only two what is that oh what why didn't i get it on Curse 12, up to 3, distinct, up to, so it's not, it's just up to, so it could be 1 to 3, or, I don't know how that, yeah, because without allowing items to be affected, so I think it's, tr was it trying to do two curses on the same, and then it didn't, I don't know how that worked, that's, that's pretty strange, I should have gone, all, it should have put all three of me, maybe it can't put it on the pet snake, I don't know, maybe the pet snake can be cursed, oh, untargetable, of course not. So there we go. So it's not overlapping when it is saying distinct. It can't overlap at all. That's pretty good. The pet snack is actually good in that sense because we can always use it because you can't be targeted with anything. Frozen, and flames, curses, poison. Well, poison is not directly on items, but whatever. Uh, shit. Can I somehow kill him? I, I probably could. Yeah, I, I think I think I'd rather kill him here and use some energy and some gems and stuff like that instead of taking that 31 hit. So uh, let's see, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, we're gonna take a seven. Uh, I'll, I'll take, I'll take a seven. Actually, I'll take more than one seven. Um, I'll take a couple of sevens, please. I'll take a couple of sevens. See, that's thirty-six, but that's not gonna be enough. We also need to use my pet snake. Unless, how much? Well, thirteen, twenty. Nah, it's not gonna be enough. So we do need, we do need to do the pet snake. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I, I'd rather use one food than take thirty-one. Uh, and and also six of these <laughs> uh, but we will get the energy back quite easily that's not that's not really a worry that is a 39 so we only need two damage from the pet snake i mean we also need to do this let's actually do that first with the 10 sure okay whatever um 27 just uh could i could i like get no i can't kill him this way no matter what i do this is the maximum amount of damage i can do with this flute a loot Flute? I'm, I'm, I'm always Caleb. Yeah, the last time I played with the bard, I also called this a flute, but it's a loot. Uh, there we go. And then we just need two damage. Um, and I guess we will get that by... I, I don't like to do this, but I, I need to. I simply just need to do it. it it's like, fair enough. Rather that than 31 damage. There we go. 
not not good, but it's I'm 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 okay with this. Uh, this dungeon was totally fine for me. Totally fine. It was all right. Uh, the tavern. A one to restore eleven. Nah. I mean, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Do we want to unveil? That might be worth it. That might be worth it. Hmm. I don't know. I do like this chest here. Just free stuff. But then we do have to go through this horn boar and yeah. Oh, well, no, we can actually go for the flea market instead. Well, we'll figure that out in the next episode, but I don't think we're going to go for the tavern. The farm? Sure. Sure, I'll take the free food. Uh, but other than that, I think we're done here. House of Holding is nice, but I'd rather start using my chips on getting more cards drawn or maybe some other kind of damage. Yeah, probably other other card for damage. I, I don't see anything here that we can get. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now, guys. That's going to be this episode. And I will see you in the next episode where we are continuing with the bot. See you around, lads.